Legend has it that Albert Einstein once described the mathematical rule of compounding as the eighth wonder of the world. In his famous quote, he went on to say, he who understands it, earns it, he who doesn't, pays it. It's such a great timeless quote and compounding is the focus of today's video. Compounding is a vital ingredient for successful long-term saving and investing. It is a concept that involves earning returns on both your original investment, what's known as your principal, as well as on the returns you received previously. In simple terms, compound growth is the cycle of earning returns on the returns you have already received. An example would probably help. Let's start with cash savings. If you had deposited £100 into a cash savings account and the account paid a 5% annual interest rate, then at the end of the year, you have your original amount, the £100, plus £5 in interest. As such, you'd now have £105 in your account. The original amount has not gone up or down in value. It is still £100. You do not get capital growth on cash savings. The reason the value of your savings has increased is because the original capital has generated some income in the form of interest. This is when the compounding process starts. Let's say you decide not to withdraw the interest and instead leave the full £105 in your account. At the end of year two, assuming the same 5% interest rate, you will now have earned £5.25 in interest. This is £5 interest from your original £100 capital, but you have also now been paid interest on the interest you received in year one. This has given you an extra 25 pence. You now have £110.25 in your savings account. Again, your original capital hasn't gone up or down in value. It is still £100, but you now have £10.25 of income. If you repeat the process, leave the interest in the account, in year three, you are now getting 5% growth on £110.25 pence, resulting in interest of £5.51 pence. Over time, compounding multiplies your money at an accelerated rate. You get interest on the interest or growth on the growth, not just the original capital you invested. What can make an even greater impact on growing your wealth is if you begin investing your money rather than trying to achieve growth via cash savings. If you decide to invest in real assets, for example shares in the great companies of the world, then you can really begin to accelerate your wealth building over long periods of time. This is because real assets like shares give you two bites at the cherry for long term growth. Firstly, shares can produce an income just like cash savings. However, whereas cash savings receive interest, the income produced by shares is known as a dividend. If these dividends are reinvested, they can be used to buy more shares. Secondly, unlike cash savings, where the original capital invested never goes up or down in value, when you invest in shares, the share price can and does fluctuate in value. If the share price increases over time, then capital growth can occur alongside the reinvested income. With the powerful force of compounding, this can have an extremely positive impact on your wealth building over the long term. It is worth pausing for a moment to state this video is specifically focusing on compounding rather than getting into the specifics of investing. Always make sure you fully understand the risks associated with any investment you are making and take appropriate advice from a suitably qualified advisor if necessary. During the initial phase of a long-term investment, your portfolio may not move much in value. This is because the real power of compounding takes time. It's the patience and discipline to stick to the process that many investors lack which can mean not gaining the advantage of compounding growth. In fact, the late Charlie Munger, possibly one of the most famous and well-respected investors of all time, once said, the first rule of compounding, never interrupt it unnecessarily. Charlie Munger understood that compounding works over time and to prematurely interrupt it, for example, selling your shares or stopping your contributions, will forego the largest upside because most of the compounding growth benefits occur at the end. 
Think of compounding as a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small, but as it travels downwards, it gathers more and more snow as a result of getting bigger and bigger, gaining more momentum as it goes. Compounding causes your wealth to grow faster. It makes a sum of money grow at a faster rate than simple interest because you will earn returns on the money you invest as well as on the returns at the end of every compounding period. This means you don't have to put away as much money to reach your goals. It's never too late to get started, but this lesson in compounding is particularly important for younger people to understand and appreciate. That's because young people often neglect to save for retirement. They may have other expenses they feel are more urgent and put it off thinking they have plenty of time left to save. Yet the earlier you start saving, the more compounding growth can work in your favour, even with relatively small amounts. Saving small amounts can pay off massively down the road, far more than saving higher amounts later in life. Let me use an example to bring this to life for you. I'm a father of twin boys, Joel and Ellis, who both turned 13 this year. To demonstrate the power of compounding, let's say both of them take a different approach to saving for their future retirement. Joel, twin one, decides to start saving £100 a month from his 20th birthday. He earns 4% interest annually, compounded monthly across 45 years. When he reaches his 65th birthday, Joel's investment will be worth just short of £151,000. Yet, he'll have only invested £54,000. This is known as his principal investment. Now let's compare this to Joel's twin brother Ellis, who doesn't begin investing until age 50. Due to starting later, he decides he needs to invest a higher amount. So Ellis invests £5,000 initially, as he opens his account, then saves £500 a month for 15 years, also averaging a monthly compounded 4% return. By age 65, Ellis has earned just over £132,000, with a principal investment of £90,000. This example highlights the power of compounding. Joel invested £54,000 and Ellis invested £90,000. Yet because Joel benefited more from the magic of compounded growth, he ended up with £151,000, nearly £20,000 more than Ellis's £132,000. And that's despite Ellis having invested nearly twice as much. And that is why Einstein's quote is so famous. Compound growth is indeed the eighth wonder of the world. Make sure you use its magic in your favour rather than having it work against you. It is worth just taking a couple of moments to reflect on the final part of Einstein's quote. He who doesn't understand it, pays it. If you have a debt that uses compound interest, the amount you owe will grow each time the interest compounds and your payments will get larger over time. For that reason, it is wise to pay down compounding debts as quickly as you can. It is one of the reasons you should look to eliminate high interest debt as quickly as you can. So, in summary, compounding can turbocharge your returns, so long as you use time to your advantage and manage your behaviour to not interrupt it unnecessarily.